Imagine you're a park ranger on a frigid January morning. Stumble upon this. Dozens of alligators frozen solid in a lake. At first glance, it looks like a prehistoric graveyard. A mass tragedy where these ancient reptiles finally met their match. You can see their entire body suspended in the murky, icy water completely motionless. But then you look closer at the surface of the ice. See that? A snout perfectly positioned, breaking through the frozen layer. And it's not just one, it's all of them. Each massive predator locked in place with just their nostrils exposed to the air. Here's the truth that will blow your mind. This isn't a tragedy. This is one of the most bizarre and incredible survival strategies in the entire animal kingdom. These creatures can stay like this for days, even weeks, breathing through the ice while their hearts beat just three times per minute. It's a biological superpower that has let these living dinosaurs outlast actual dinosaurs and conquer climates that should be lethal for cold-blooded reptiles. So how exactly do alligators survive being frozen solid? The answer is far stranger and frankly way cooler than you could imagine. Welcome to Jaws and Claws, where we dive deep into nature's most mind-bending survival strategies. First things first, these alligators are not dead. They aren't even really asleep. They're in a state called brumation. It's one of the most fascinating biological processes you've probably never heard of. Most of us know about hibernation, that deep winter slumber for mammals like bears. Brumation is the reptile version, but with crucial differences that make it even more incredible. While a hibernating bear is unconscious, a brumating alligator is still aware. They're basically in suspended animation, a biological standby mode. Think of it like putting your computer on sleep mode instead of shutting it down completely. It's not off, it's just using the bare minimum power to stay ready. And here's where it gets wild. They instinctively know when the water's about to freeze. As temperatures drop, they don't panic. They position themselves vertically in the water, tilt their heads up and carefully place their snouts just so. The ice then freezes around them, creating a perfect custom-fit breathing hole, essentially a scaly snorkel. Below the surface, their bodies become incredibly still. They stop eating completely. From mid-October to early March, they won't consume a single meal. For months, they survive on stored energy alone. Their metabolism slows to an absolute crawl, but the most shocking change happens in their chest. The powerful heart of this apex predator drops from a normal 30 to 40 beats per minute down to just three beats per minute. That's one heartbeat every 20 seconds. For comparison, your heart right now is probably beating 60 to 100 times per minute, but three? That's a state so close to death, it's almost impossible to tell the difference. But these alligators are absolutely fine. This is survival, perfected over millions of years of evolution. So how does a complex animal actually survive in this near-frozen state? It all comes down to incredible energy-saving adaptations. Being cold-blooded means their body temperature matches their environment. In winter, that should be a death sentence. Except alligators have turned this weakness into one of their greatest strengths. As water temperatures drop, their body temperature drops with it. But here's the clever part. Water loses heat much more slowly than air. So while air temperature might plummet to 15 or 20 degrees, the water just under the ice stays a few crucial degrees warmer. By staying submerged, the alligator avoids the harshest temperatures, protected by the very water freezing around its snout. The metabolic slowdown is the real key. It's a systematic shutdown of everything non-essential. Digestion stops completely. Growth and movement cease. During the coldest parts of brumation, they might go hours between breaths. Their entire existence is pared down to the absolute minimum, keeping basic organs functioning and breathing. Their circulatory system even has a special trick. It can perform a right-to-left shunt, which means it can recirculate blood through the body without sending it back to the lungs every time. This helps them manage oxygen levels with incredible efficiency. Crucial when you're only taking a few breaths an hour through an icy snorkel. This isn't just an animal waiting out the cold. This is a creature that has fundamentally rewired its biology to conquer winter. The American alligator's mastery of cold becomes even more impressive when you compare it to its famous cousin, the American crocodile. They might look similar, but their response to cold is dramatically different. Crocodiles are tropical animals and extremely sensitive to cold. When temperatures drop, a crocodile's instinct is to keep basking, desperately trying to soak up any sun. This can be fatal. If water temperature drops to around 45 degrees Fahrenheit, 
An American crocodile can lose consciousness, become hypothermic, and drown. Their bodies just aren't built for it. The American alligator is the most cold tolerant of all crocodilians on the planet. Their evolution gave them the instinct to seek shelter in dens or deep water and start brumating before the worst cold hits. This one difference is why you find gators much farther north than crocs. Swamps and rivers of North Carolina, Arkansas, and Texas. Places that get regular hard freezes. Crocodiles are stuck in consistently warm climates. In Florida, where both species coexist, severe cold snaps make this difference crystal clear. Scientists have documented huge losses in crocodile populations after cold weather events, while alligators in the same area barely flinch. The alligator's ability to read the weather and prepare gives it a massive survival advantage. This icy state can't last forever, and alligator survival depends on the weather warming up. They can last like this for days, sometimes up to two weeks, but a prolonged deep freeze would prove fatal. Their bodies can only withstand water temperatures down to about 40 degrees for so long. Luckily, in their native habitats, these cold snaps are usually temporary, and just as their bodies knew when to shut down, they also know when to wake up. The process of coming out of brumation is slow and deliberate. As ice melts and sun warms the water, the alligator's internal thermostat slowly rises. At first, they're incredibly sluggish, like someone waking from the longest nap. They can't do much until they warm their bodies back up. Their first priority is getting warm. You'll often see them emerge to bask in the sun. Those prominent ridges on their backs, called scutes, aren't just armor, they act as natural heat conductors. Blood vessels beneath these scutes absorb the sun's warmth like biological solar panels. As that warm blood circulates, it slowly brings their entire system back to operating temperature. Once they're warm enough and their metabolism kicks back in, their heart rate climbs to normal. Only then will they think about their first meal. At Gator Country, a rescue center in Texas, they have a tradition called Gator Day. After ice thaws, staff test whether alligators will accept food. If they eat, it means they sense spring is here to stay. If they refuse, it's a sign another cold spell is coming. It's a testament to how incredibly tuned in these ancient animals are to their environment. Think about what we've just learned. These are creatures that have survived on Earth for over 30 million years. They witness the rise and fall of countless species. They were here when saber-toothed cats prowled, when giant ground sloths wandered, when mammoths ruled. They're still here, thriving, conquering challenges that would kill almost any other reptile. The alligator's frozen survival strategy is more than just a cool biological trick. It's a window into the incredible power of evolution and adaptation. It shows us that survival isn't always about being the biggest, fastest, or most aggressive. Sometimes it's about being able to slow down, to wait, to endure when conditions turn hostile. So the next time you see a viral photo of an alligator with its snout poking through the ice, don't see a victim. See a survivor. See a creature so perfectly adapted that it can willingly enter suspended animation, becoming a living statue that waits patiently for the sun to return. It's a powerful reminder that in the animal kingdom, toughness isn't just about teeth and claws. It's about the quiet, ingenious, and often bizarre strategies that allow life to endure. From a heart that beats only three times a minute to a built-in snorkel that forms naturally in freezing water, the American alligator proves it is truly one of nature's ultimate survivors, a living dinosaur that has mastered the art of chilling out. If you found this adaptation as mind-blowing as I did, subscribe to Jaws and Claws and hit that notification bell! We're constantly diving deep into the wildest survival strategies from across the animal kingdom. Drop a comment and tell us, what other animal survival strategy blows your mind? Have you ever seen brumating alligators in person? Until next time, keep exploring the wild side of nature. This is Jaws and Claws, reminding you that the natural world is far stranger than any fiction we could dream up.